So I played Call of Duty Black Ops in 2023, and this is Roy. Yes. How cool is this? So Call of Duty Black Ops 1 came out in 2010, 13 years ago, technically 12, but you know, we'll say 13 because it's 2023 now. I was a little worried that the optimization wouldn't be great because it came out in 2010, but luckily it wasn't half bad. Realise you can go up to whatever resolution you want to go to, that's pretty good. Some games don't do that, like Prototype. Tried to play Prototype months ago, booted it up, it wouldn't even go past 720p. Excuse me? It's a PC game? Why, why, why is it not 1080p at least? I have a 1440p monitor, give me 1080p at least. So right away, Black Ops 1 has 1440p support. <laughs> Amazing, right? That's a good thing, because some games clearly don't have it for some reason, which is kind of annoying, to be honest. But who cares, we're talking about Black Ops 1. Right, let's talk about the story. The story is probably, I mean, some people would argue it's the best story in the franchise. I wouldn't go that far. I wouldn't go that far. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. What are the numbers, Mason? It's pretty good. That's the most memorable bit of it. The numbers. What are the numbers? So first off, the voice actors are absolutely killing it. I hate the new voice actors in Black Ops Cold War. Don't know why they changed them. I guess for uh, consistency? which is the complete opposite of consistency, but they wanted to reboot, soft reboots, having new actors for it, cool. Didn't really work for me, kind of want these guys back because they're killing it. Woods, Mason, Hudson, Weaver, uh, Reznov, Gary Oldman? Gary Oldman? Do you remember Gary Oldman was in a Call of Duty game? Reznov? Dragovich. Steiner. Oh, must die. He's not fucking real, Mason. Reznov is in your head. Uh, that would be five pounds for the wonderful voice acting performance right there, from B. Thank you. Cheers. Bye. I do wish Black Ops 2 didn't go into 2025, to be honest with you, because we could have got way more time with these characters, but it, it is what it is. It is what it is. So yeah, the characters are really good. They're really good. They're written really well. They're voice acted really well. And there isn't really a bad performance between any of the actors. They're all there. They're all pu pulling it off. Even some of the side characters off that one mission where you're running across the rooftops. We'll talk about that, about that in just a minute. But when you're running across the rooftops, that one guy that's, you know, gets shards of glass put in his mouth. Ugh, that's disgusting. He was killing it. It kind of sounds like Gary Oldman. I can't lie. I think he may have done, like, multiple voices for some reason. But, you know, hey, 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 who cares? It's Gary Oldman. He can do anything. It's Gary Oldman. I've been hunted across every corner of the globe. If you found me so one day. They know everything you know. They're probably on their... Yeah, so my main issues with the story, it comes from a presentation standpoint. First off, I love how the story is told. I love the fact that you're playing as Mason, you're in this chair, you're being interrogated basically, trying to figure out what these numbers mean, and you and Mason go on this little trip together down memory lane, like we're doing right now, sat in a chair, just, there's no crazy numbers. Well, there is numbers. Subscribe, come on, come on, 20k is so close, let's do it, let's do it. But yeah, the main, the main issue for me is the presentation, because the music, as good as the music is, the, the audio mixing is really bad for some reason. It's such a nitpicky complaint, but those little moments really stick out when the rest of the game is really good. And the audio mixing is a bit of a mess, as well as the sound design. Obviously, Call of Duty was never known for, you know, its impeccable sound design. It, that was usually Battlefield's thing or Crisis, or, or, or whatever, but here in Black Ops 1, it's particularly bad, especially with the uh, the weapon sounds. The weapon sounds sound awful. They sound really bad. The suppressors, I, the, I'll take it back. Some of the weapons sound really bad, but when you put a suppressor on them, oh, oh. I'll tell you what, there's never been a Call of Duty game that had better suppressor sounds. I don't care if it's not like real life. They just sound so good. Do you remember putting like a, a suppressor on a, on the FAMAS? Or suppressor on the Galil or the Commando and just <laughs> reload. And then you just <laughs> and you get a 25 kill streak. You just like, oh, oh, I just want to keep shooting the guns. In the new Call of Duty, you don't want to keep shooting the guns. They sound more real, but God, they all sound the fucking same. And uh, the villains are kind of crap. I said all the actors did well, they did, but the villains really don't have a lot to do. They're really boring. They're really just generic as hell. Dragonov, I think his name is called. Dra Dragovich, Dragovich, Dragonov. Dragonov was a sniper. What am I talking about? Dragovich is the actual character's name. Yeah, Dragovich is um, you know, he's okay. He's he's just you know a Call of Duty villain. Uh, you don't care. You get to without spoiling things. You you guys should know the ending by now, but I'm not going to spoil it. But when you finally reach a climax with that character, 
it's crap, to be perfectly honest with you. But other than that, I actually have no real complaints about the story or presentation, so we should move on to the gameplay. Oof. I know a lot of people complained about Black Ops, uh, Modern Warfare, all the Call of Duty games playing the same. You could really tell why they kept the same like idea and game the idea of the gameplay design and the engine they used i guess you could say um because my god it plays so nicely it's so nice to play it's so nice i really do like the gameplay of the new call of duty games but they're just just they just they just don't have that charm that these old games do have you know what i mean like i could boot up ghosts and still have a good time because there's still some charm there but my god in black ops 1 oof the Gunplay is so nice. Sure, the guns may not sound amazing, but they feel great. They're really cool. It's just a fun game to play. Let's get more in depth about it. First off, weapon selection. Loads of weapons to choose from. You got your your pistols, your snipers, your shotguns, your assault rifles, your SMGs. You can dual wield. You can dual wield the SMGs. Where did that go? Where did that go in the new Call of Duty? Where did that go? Just. It's amazing, man. It's 10 out of 10 stuff. But along with that, every weapon, every weapon type feels different. And you can just tell that a lot of care really did go into designing how these guns felt, how they, how they reacted to different situations when it, when it comes to long distance or short distance. You can really tell how much care went into the weapons, okay? You, I rarely say that for a Call of Duty game. I rarely say that for an FPS game. It's very rare that I actually compliment how much effort went into the different weapons that you've got rather than just weapon selection, like SMGs. Obviously, an SMG is going to play differently to an assault rifle, but it, each SMG feels a bit different to every other SMG, you know what I mean? It's 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 really... It's just nice to play. It's just nice to use. Uh, level design overall, they're, they're okay. There are some really good standouts, like the, um, the, the parkour rooftop mission. I can't remember where it's set, but it's, you're, you know, you're going over the rooftops and you're just sliding down. You're going into armories and you're grabbing another gun, then you got another gun, then you slide up and you climb up and then you fall down. It's... Awesome, it's intense Call of Duty stuff. But then, on the other side, a lot of the missions are very slow. But, you know, you just, you gotta follow someone, you walk it behind them, you when you know already know where you wanna go, but you can't get past them because you have to go on this very scripted section. And that is often how the missions are structured, unfortunately. But then again, that's no different to the new Call of Duty. They, they got so obsessed with, um, Modern Warfare 2 got so obsessed with these slow walking sections where you go through buildings and, you know, clear out enemies. It ends up just being the same thing, just, you know, less epic, unfortunately. I do hope they they, they slow that stuff down. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed Clean House in the original Modern Warfare. Not the original, the 2019 Modern Warfare, not the original. I enjoyed that mission, but they just overdid it with Modern Warfare 2. But it's weirdly the same issue with Black Ops and all these older Call of Duty's. It's the same thing, but it's just presented to you in a different way in the new one. But it's still here, and it's still a pain in the ass. But all in all, there's really not too much to talk about when it comes to Black Ops, unless I can spoil things and play the multiplayer, but I can't. I didn't play the multiplayer. Why did I not play the multiplayer? Well, basically, from what I've seen online, I researched it, I found one Reddit post. Everything pre-Black Ops 3 online is dangerous, unless you play a specific modded version of online from, I think it's called Plutonium or something. I don't want to do that. I wanted to play the original multiplayer as it was. If I do that, though, there's a chance, my account, my things, my, my, my YouTube channel, my, my, my precious PC, it goes, it, poof, it's gone. Don't need that. I'd rather not have that happen, you know what I mean? So, I didn't play the multiplayer. I'm sorry. I cannot play the multiplayer, unfortunately, which just sucks. Other than that, yeah, I mean, Black Ops 1, it's definitely worth playing right now for the campaign and Zombies. Zombies, I didn't play much because, you know, Zombies is a cooperative game. I want to play it with other people. Can't do that right now, unfortunately, because no one seems to have Black Ops, who I know, which sucks. But yeah, if you're considering playing it, for whatever reason, if it comes to Game Pass in a year's time, if the Activision deal goes through, absolutely play it. Absolutely play it. I mean, you got this far in this video, you're going to have to play it, man. you got to play it. It's worth playing. Definitely worth playing. But yeah, that's that's it. It's definitely worth playing. I think you guys already knew that when you clicked on the video, but uh, yeah, that's, that's it. Thank you for watching. Really appreciate it. And uh... I've got some more reviews coming soon. Constant. We're going to bang them out now because I missed most of January. Sorry. Let's go. Let's do it.